Hi, Lily Ho students. Mr. Kaczynski with you, working on section O of IXL's eighth grade math skills. The triangle angle sum theorem. We've actually used that in the last couple of videos. Use it again to, uh, to find some missing angles. So we have this triangle, and we're trying to find the value of u. All right, well, we know one of the angles in this triangle is 33 degrees. We know another one is 13 times whatever u is. And we know the third angle is 8 times whatever u is. And the angle sum theorem of triangles states that the sum of all the angles in a triangle will always be 180. So this is the equation we can write. Angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 equals 180 degrees. So let's start off by combining like terms here. Uh, 13u and 8u makes 21u. Then we'll subtract 180 from, or excuse me, 33 from both sides, which is 147. 180 minus 33 is 147. And then we'll divide both sides by 21, and we'll we'll know the value of u, which is 7. or seven degrees actually, but IXL will put the degree sign in there for you. You just gotta type the seven. So the sum of all three angles is 180. All right, let's do it again. We have a 66 degree angle. Another angle that is S plus 43. And the third angle that is S plus 13, whatever S is. Okay, and together they add up to 180 degrees. <clears throat> All right, so let's start off by combining like terms. Uh, let's do S plus S is 2S. And we'll do 66 plus 43 plus 13, which is 122. Then we can subtract 122 from both sides, which is 58, and then divide both sides by 2 and we get 29 degrees, that's the value of S. So this angle down here, this red one would be 29 plus 13, the green one would be 29 plus 43, and the blue one would be 66. A Little bit tougher here, got this one angle that we know is 30. Got another angle that's 7y plus 19, whatever y is. And we have a third angle that's 3y minus 5. And together they all add up to 180, and we're trying to find what y is. All right, again, let's uh, combine like terms. Let's do 7y and 3y together makes 10y. Then we'll do 30 and 19, that's 49, minus 5, that's 45. Let's subtract 45 from both sides. So 10y would equal 180 minus 45, which is 135. And then we'll divide both sides by 10, and that would be 13.5. One more, and in this one, we don't know the measure of any of the angles, and we don't even have a picture, but that doesn't change anything. We've got one angle, that's 2z minus 10. A second angle, that's z minus 10. And a third angle, that's just z. And together, the three angles of any triangle will always add up to 
180 degrees. So we can combine like terms, 2z plus z plus z is 4z. Then I see negative 10 and negative 10, that makes negative 20. We'll add 20 to both sides. And divide both sides by 4. And we get that z is 50 degrees. So now we could figure out, if we wanted to, 2z minus 10 would be 90. 50 times 2 is 100, minus 10 is 90. z minus 10 would be 40. 50 minus 10 is 40. And z would just be 50. So 90, 40, and 50, that adds up to 180 degrees. So that's how you can use the triangle sum theorem to find missing values. Good luck.